I'm, I'm Emma, I'm 23 and I have had issues with some form of mental health pretty much majority most of my life. Um, when I was in primary school I was diagnosed with ADHD and that never wasn't a problem in my life. <laughs> Um, but then, as I got older, things like depression, anxiety, and mood disorders, and eating disorders, and stuff like that have sort of all eventually come together in the mix of everything, so it's all a little bit confusing sometimes. Um, at, at, at the moment, um, I'm sort of dealing with something that I won't go into, but um, it's it's not exactly something that's easy to deal with even when you don't have a bunch of stuff in your head that's um, making everything so much more confusing for you and warping so many feelings on how to actually deal with stuff. So I'm, I'm at the moment having a lot of trouble um, keeping myself level and with my mental health problems I've been having a lot of the struggles I sort of end up in is I do eventually get suicidal and have very frequently gotten suicidal in the past. Um, I've been admitted to psychiatric facilities um, quite a few times um, and they've all had relatively different outcomes each time, relatively different doctors and diagnoses and stuff. Um, the weirdest part is, is a lot of that has definitely helped, yet I don't even remember exactly where I learnt this lesson or got this idea in my head, but um, it's not like, it's not like one night you just decide I've had enough and try something, It's it builds and it builds and it builds and you eventually just decide It'll, it, it, it just feels like everything sucks and it feels like nothing's going to be worth it or good enough yet although I deal with that every single time there's something that I've somewhere along the line learnt that somehow seems to keep me here um, and that's sort of when I'm in that moment I sort of look back at when I felt that way last time and I don't really compare whether it was feeling as bad or if I'm feeling worse now or like worse than last time or anything like that. I just go back to where I was last time I was feeling this and last time I was feeling like taking my life basically. And um, I try to think about that moment and what has happened to me just in that period of time. Even if I thought that exact same thought a week ago and everything else in between, everything else that happened was just awful, didn't feel like it helped, didn't feel like it helped the case, didn't make me feel any better about wanting to stick around, I would just somehow find anything that was good about the time between when I could have done that then and still thinking about it again now. Like, even if it's just something as simple as every other day was horrible, but one day, or for one hour in that week, I got to see someone I either don't, I got to see someone I don't see very often, or I got to do something that I wouldn't do very often, or, got, or get taken on an outing, or, or paint something, or, or draw something, and like, even just that drawing wouldn't be there if I chose it then, as opposed to waiting till now. And I sort of do that every single time and every time I get there, no matter how frequent and horrible it is anyway, no doubt there's kind of always something that was at least good between the time I'm facing it and whatever time I faced that feeling beforehand. And even if it doesn't feel like ultimately that thing was the, a huge deal or anything like that. I've still at some point gone on and 
had other experiences and seen other people and gotten to do other things and even if it's only these small little things that feel so insignificant the idea of looking back and going back and saying no I sh this was a waste this, that <clears throat> this was a waste of a week or something or other like that you know even thinking something like that it's like no that it wasn't a waste there was something good there, and I, I don't like the idea of even just eliminating that one small thing, or maybe that one colouring in page that I coloured in that just wouldn't have been done if I had made that decision then instead of now, and so many other things just wouldn't happen, or I wouldn't do, or people I wouldn't see if I chose it today. And there's things that are going to happen tomorrow, and there's things that are going to happen in a month, and things that are going to happen in a year, that just won't if I don't focus on them and how they might make me realise I suppose how worth it was to hold on even if at the time it just doesn't seem worth holding on I can think back now at every single time I've thought about it every single time I've practically been there about to do it and there's always been something that I could never let go of now. I, could, I couldn't I could let go of any of these things that I've experienced that I would have missed if I made that choice. Damn. So I suppose that in a sense if it doesn't seem like it really gets brighter straight away one way or another and even if it's not in the way you want it to, it still does.